It's a crazy Friday night here in our house. The four oldest kids are downstairs watching TV and our five week old son Levi is really fussy. The perfect night for tacos. I have a pound of ground elk meat browning in the skillet. I opened up a few cans of refried beans, but I'm gonna show you a trick to make these things come alive. I'm gonna add a whole cup of cooked chopped bacon and a tablespoon of pure bacon grease. I'm gonna mix that up and heat it up in the microwave. I'm gonna sprinkle some high mountain taco seasoning on the meat. Meanwhile, I'm gonna chop up some cilantro. You know, when you're chopping up cilantro, you can actually use pieces of the stem. It has the same great flavor as the rest of the cilantro. I have a case of old El Paso nacho cheese flavored stand and stuff taco shells. Got these at Sam's Club, but you could also get them at the local grocery store. You can heat these up in the microwave for about 10 to 12 seconds. I'm also going to add some of the high mountain taco seasoning to the refried beans. Oh, these beans smell incredible. I'm going to take some of those refried beans, spread them on one side of the taco shell like that. Put some of the ground elk meat in there. Dice tomato. And my favorite, fresh chopped cilantro. Add your favorite hot sauce. Check that out. Ground elk tacos. You could use any kind of ground meat. Venison, moose, bear, bison. You could even use chicken or a piece of roast using the high mountain taco seasoning. This really sets it off. It has all the great Mexican flavors. They also have fajita seasoning as well. And don't forget to kick up your refried beans with fresh bacon and bacon grease. Thanks for joining me for taco night. If you haven't subscribed to my videos, please do so. And until next time, this is the Rocky Mountain Meat Hunter saying praise the Lord and pass the tacos.